What's up, besties? Welcome back. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> to Turning Tides Tarot. Whoops. Uh, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so very much for joining me here. Um, I'm going to ring the sound bowl. I'm going to call in spirit, but this was a little bit of an interesting reading. Okay. I feel like it's going to be an interesting one because um, it's twofold. After I finished reading uh, the last, I guess, the last reading that was just published, um, something came into me and it was the song You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette. Now I'm a 90s girly and that's all good. Um, I don't mind dating myself, um, but I actually haven't heard that song in a very long time. And I looked up the lyrics, okay, and it was like, Holy, it is intense. Okay. I don't know if you know the lyrics to that song. I will post it in the comments for those of you who don't, but I'm pretty sure most of you do. It was like a huge um, hit song uh, in the 90s. But, anyways, so um, I feel like a spirit is really wanting me to spill the tea on a karmic situation. Now, I don't usually read too much uh, or get into the space of what's going on with karmic relationships and things like that. I do try to avoid it, but spirit's calling me to do it. Um, now, there was something specific. Uh, I kept hearing there was a slap in the face, how quickly I was replaced. And are you thinking of me when you are with her? Okay, <laughs> different language. But anyways, I do feel like I'm reading on a situation where there was someone here who denied you. Um, and it wasn't fair. Um, and I feel like there was a lot of anger on your side. I feel like this person um, maybe strung you along or um, there may have been a third party situation. Like I said, this is going to be like a karmic type of reading. So if that is not something you want to hear about loves, please click off now. Okay. This is your warning <laughs> because this is the kind of reading that we're into. I need to know what is up with this message and why spirit wants me to read on it. So let's bring the sound bowl, call in spirit and let's spill the tea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely something that you ought to know. All right. Okay. I'm calling in spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret this message. May they may it help us on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection towards myself, you, um, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, Spirit. I am going to be using the Deviant Moon deck because this is, I don't know, it's like my karmic deck. I don't know. I love the art um, and illustrations, but it's not for everyone. Um, anyways. It's kind of like steampunky, I guess. Um, but yeah, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I need a little bit more. What's the Knight of Pentacles? I feel like whatever this is, whatever tea is about to be spilled right now, this has been something that you've almost been waiting for. Um, waiting for the day or waiting for... And I'm not getting that you're like, you know, you're being vindictive or you've got this like revenge, but there has been some anger uh, towards this person, towards a situation in the past. Um, and I feel like some of you have just been kind of like biding your time. You knew something wild was going to happen out of this situation. Um, I do feel like, I don't know, there's something going on. I feel like there's like a fight or something. I don't know. My uh, spidey sense for drama is like <laughs> going off. All right, y'all. It is a little bit of a guilty prep pleasure. I love the drama. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Let's see. What do we have here? We have the... Seven of Wands. Yeah, someone is standing up. Hold on. The tower. Oh, shoot. The tower is falling. Hold on. I need a little bit more juice and death. There it is. Look, whatever's happening now, stick with me because these juicy details are going to unfold as the story unfolds here. Okay. Look, the person that you were dealing with, like I said, the one who perhaps denied you or the one who um, put you in some kind of third party situationship, chose someone else over you, the one who's off uh, dealing with a karmic right now, that ish is about to implode. 
okay? That whole relationship is imploding at the moment. Now, I am telling you this because this is coming out of nowhere. I do feel like the person you were connected to, uh, for ease, let's just call it this masculine, okay? Or I'm just going to say this masculine. Um, this masculine is standing up and fighting and taking some type of action. They're the ones who are causing the tower moment in this karmic relationship. Um, they are the ones that are saying, look, I want this to be over. And I feel like it's coming out of nowhere. Um, I feel like they're all of a sudden speaking their truth. Um, I feel like your name is being brought up, to be totally honest with you. Hold on. Why am I getting that your name is being brought into some kind of fight, some kind of argument? What's going on here? Four of Cups. Look, your or this masculine, right? They rejected you. The Four of Cups is not a fun energy. They maybe told you to hit the road or whatever they did. They, they definitely screwed you over. Okay. Um, not going to lie. They picked the karmic over you. They got into another relationship really quickly. However, it went down, they rejected you. And this, um, <laughs> this is why they're standing up right now. I want to know why, why that your name is in their mouth. They are, yeah, they are speaking about it. I feel like what's happening is like, your name is flying out of their mouth um, in a way where it's like, I should have never, I should have picked tribe member over you. I should have picked, I should have done this. I should have been with them. I should be over there with them being happy. But instead I picked you and you're this and you're that. And I feel like there's a lot of like, I'm getting like pots and pans smashing. So I don't know if they're like cooking while this happens or it's something that's very sudden. Why I say cooking because spirit's showing me this like, scene where there are people in a kitchen, like two people in a kitchen, uh, doing like a regular nightly routine type of situation, making dinner, whatever. Right. And then all of a sudden it's like, I've had enough. And like a lot of crashing of dishes. Um, <laughs> it is so dramatic. Okay. Um, a lot of crashing, a lot of banging pots and pans, like very aggressively cooking or doing dishes or something like this. I I've had enough. I should be over here with this person, I shouldn't have rejected them for you. You're this, you're that. I mean, the name calling, it's not pretty. I don't want to really repeat what I'm hearing here, but you're this, this, I keep saying you're masculine, but it's this masculine here is, has had enough. Okay. Has had enough and they are not mincing words. Okay. Uh, they are not mincing words right now. There is a big fight going on between uh, this masculine and the karmic. I gotta be honest with you. Here we go. Page of swords. Look, I feel like something. Okay. So <laughs> to, let's just say to the karmic right now, obviously if this masculine has all of these rude and mean things to say, um, it's something that has been building up for a very long time, right? Um, I feel like the pressure's been building and building and building and this masculine's just exploding and saying, you know what, this is over. I am not doing this with you anymore. I shouldn't have made this decision. I shouldn't have picked you. I shouldn't have, you know, just like really being very, very honest. Obviously, this is how they feel. Um, like I said, it's been bubbling up for a very long time now. Why though is it happening just randomly? It feels like it's a random thing to the karmic. It's like, where is this coming from? You know, whatever. Um, but I feel like something that they have seen you doing recently, I feel like they have been watching you. There's something that's happened for you that has made them just be really pissed off with where they are right now and, and what their life looks like. And I feel like they've just had enough. Okay. I want to know what they've seen that you have been doing. What have the, they've been spying on you? Okay. They've been watching you. They've been checking you out, checking your socials. What, what's been going on? What are they, what did they see that's happening for you that has triggered this sudden shift? It's a sudden desire to take action, to change their life. The hermit. The Hermit and the Knight of Swords. I'm like, how can they see you if you're in the Hermit energy? What is about this? Hold on. Please clarify the Hermit. The Hermit is someone who's like keeping to themselves. You're not really... Hold on. You're not talking to them. That's for sure. Here we have the Ace of... Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. The Chariot. Look, you spend a, quite a bit of time. Here it is. Okay. So they have been keeping an eye on you for like a really long time here, right? And I feel like they have recently 
well, for, for the most part, for a very, very long time, you have been keeping to yourself. You've been maybe going through some um, deep healing, maybe even a dark night of the soul for some of you. This was a really awful experience that y'all went through, okay, and that they put you through. Let's be honest, right? Now, I feel like you may have um, definitely cut off communication with this person. You have not been speaking to them. You've not been telling them what's happening in your life. You've made a clean break from them um, because of how deeply they hurt you, honestly. And because it was just the right thing for you to do a, as a radical act of self-love so that you aren't going to be hurt from them anymore, right? You try to get over them. You have. Here's the thing. You recently have perhaps either met someone new and have moved forward, moved on with your life, and you have entered into a new relationship that looks really good. You know, it's like, um, it, it gives this energy of like, you're being treated very well. Okay. Now oh, I got to hold on because a lot's coming through right now all at once. I got, I got to say this. If you haven't met this person yet, you are about to. Okay. And I feel like this per this person knows it. This masculine knows it. you're either about to, or they know that you're talking to somebody and it's going to lead. I don't know how they know, but they have seen something here that has been like, mm-mm. I can't have this because, because the person that you are involved with or will become in, involved with, this could be predictive, my loves, for some of you, um, is somebody who is actually pretty awesome. It's somebody who sees your value, sees your worth. They do not try to keep you a secret. They're not, they're not choosing anyone else over you. They're treating you properly. They're taking you out. They're parading you around. Like they're, they're giving you all the things, all the respect, all the love, all the, you know, um, it's just, they're, it's good, right? It's really good. And I feel like it's giving this energy of you're out at like five star freaking restaurants, enjoying life. And they're over here, like freaking, uh, the person they're, they're, they've deal, deal, I don't know. The person they have chosen over you, I don't know why Spirit said this, but they're picking up cigarette butts off the sidewalk, which is really gross. Okay, so the person that they've picked somebody who is just downright disgusting. Okay, downright disgusting. Now, y'all know me. I, 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 yes, I love my drama, but I don't usually uh, uh, throw shade at karmics and things of that nature. But the, the stark, contrast between the two of you is just out of this world okay you are like a freaking bright shining diamond and the karmic is like gum on the bottom of their shoe okay that's the energy that this is giving here that's the energy this is giving sorry y'all I had a little bit of an interruption there but like I was saying um this masculine has absolutely had it. I feel like they're looking at the karmic like they're so freaking gross. They're so disgusting. It's almost like they've snapped out of it, whatever they were. Um, maybe even some of them are saying like, whatever spell you had me under, I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I chose you over them. Anyways, your name is being brought up here. And again, I do feel like this is something that you've already known or you already knew that this is going to happen because um, again, it's not that like I don't know. I just feel like you always knew that you were a better option and like you couldn't really understand like why would they make this decision? It makes no sense. Why would they choose this person over me? Um, I've got a lot going on for myself. Um, I've, I'm really amazing. I'm so incredible. I've got, you know, all this talent, all these gifts, all these skills, you know, I don't need their money. I'm very independent. I've got a life going on for myself. Like, I feel like the person they chose over you was somebody who is actually very dependent on them. Um, again, maybe asking them for money or always like needing them to take care of things. Um, I don't know. It just feels like it was like maybe um, the person that they chose is karmic, right? I feel like it triggered their sense of like this hero syndrome. Like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to help this like damsel in distress kind of an energy. And regardless of the gender, it's just that energy of like, oh, I need to come in and rescue this person because they can't take care of themselves or they can't take care of life. Or, and it maybe gave them some sort of ego boost to be the person who was like in charge or the person who like had the most. And it made them like, I don't know, they felt very powerful, I feel like. Um, yeah. And I feel like with you, you were like... Uh, either they were on your level um, or you were maybe above them in some type of way as far as like success or accomplishments or something like that. 
Um, and it's, it's painfully obvious to them. Whatever you are doing in your life right now, even if it's not in a new relationship, you have gotten over it, you have moved forward, and you have maybe even started your own business or you're, uh, you're getting paid or like, again, you're in a really good position um, and they are seeing that, right? Because they are still watching you. And so, yeah, your name is being brought into this freaking throwdown that's happening between um, them and the karmic right now, okay? Why do you need to know this? Why should you know? Why is that song you ought to know? Because I feel like this is something spirit wants you to know. And that's why, obviously, that's why we're here. That's why we're reading on this. Why do you need to know this? Why do you need to know that this is what's going on and this freaking fight is happening and your name is being brought into things? Why do you need to know? Maybe you are sensing something's going on. I don't know here. Why do you need to know? The moon. <laughs> the moon. Okay. Because all of this stuff is coming up to the surface. All, all of the secrets that have been kept, all of the lies that they've told, all of the... I mean, everything that happens in the dark will eventually be exposed to the light, right? And I feel like it's just all coming out right now. I feel like the person, this masculine, um, cannot hide their true feelings anymore. They can't hide their true self. They can't hide. They cannot pretend that they're happy looking around at their life with this freaking person who picks up cigarette butts from the freaking sidewalk. Like, it's just disgusting. Um, so I feel like they just can't take it anymore. But really, that's still not giving me why you need to know. Maybe it's something that um, really did a number on you, right? It may have really done a number on you. It may have um, forced you into your own, you know, dark night of the soul moment. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it brought on a lot of pain into your world and a lot of confusion. And maybe this is just about time that you know yeah, we have the seven of cups. There's the there's the confusion. Confusion. I just feel like it's being brought to light. I feel like you finally are getting. Uh, it just. I feel like you're just finally getting clarity, or you're finding gaining. You're finally gaining clarity on what had happened. Yeah, here's the two of cups. See why this was so confusing for you and so upsetting and so freaking devastating for you is because you felt this connection on a very deep level, on a very deep soul level, and you thought they did too. And so the fact that this even happened or they even chose someone else was like a freaking blow. It was a blow to the chest, a blow to the heart. Ace of Cups. King of Cups. See, Seven of Swords. Look, I feel like all the secrets that they've kept are coming out. Um, and it's coming out because they are talking about it. They're telling the karmic everything. They're telling the karmic their feelings about you. They're telling the karmic that they love you. They've been in love with you the whole time. They were just confused. They were under some kind of spell. Like, this is like, I feel like they're going to be coming towards you. I got to be honest with you. I feel like they are blowing up this whole situation ship with the karmic and telling the truth. And they are not holding back. They are actually being really quite harsh. They are being pretty harsh, but they're also being truthful. So... There's that. I feel like there's no stopping them. They are literally, they're saying all the things, all the worst things to this karmic person um, so that they'll never ever want to come back into their life. Like I feel like on purpose, they're saying the most, they're doing the most so that it's like they'll get the hint, not even get the hint. They're, so they will actually never want to come back. They're saying, look, I don't even love you. How could I love someone like you? You know, like they're being actually really, really harsh um, to the karmic person. I don't know what your feelings are towards them. And I, I guess it doesn't really matter because this is happening regardless of how you feel about the karmic. Um, 
but I'll tell you, it is not, um, it is not pleasant. And I actually wouldn't really, I was going to say, I wouldn't want to be a fly on the wall, but we're actually kind of being a fly on the wall right now. And I'm telling you, it is not something that you really want to witness, um, that's happening. And I feel like it's a side of this person that you didn't even know existed or, um, yeah, they don't want you to know that this side of them exists. Mm -mm, this is not nice. Um, but they are telling the karmic that, look, I'm in love with someone else and I should, I really messed up. I should never have chosen you. I should never have started this with you. Uh, -uh mm -mm. I'm in love here. The Ace of Cups, King of Cups. I have deep love for someone else and it ain't you. Okay. So this is actually what is happening. Uh, behind the scenes. This is what spirit feels like you want to know. Um, I'm going to get a different deck now and I'm going to plain up ask like, um, are they going to take any action towards you? Is this why this is coming up? Are they going to take any action towards you? King of Swords. Oh yeah. Page of Wands. Hold on. Death. Oh yeah, as soon as this is over and done with, they will be communicating towards you or they will be reaching out to you. Again, they feel like you are, it's like they feel like they need to, they've wasted so much time here that they need to hurry up and do this. They need to hurry up and put an end to this relationship or the situationship and then totally be rid of the karmic so that they can come towards you and talk to you, okay? They want to reach out. They want to talk to you. I feel like they just want, yeah, they want this to be over. Oh my gosh, the Hierophant. The Hierophant. The Hierophant. This is talking about like higher levels of commitment. Strength. Hold on. Five of Swords. Oh yeah, Judgment. Oh my gosh. Okay. They're going to be coming back to you. They're going to be talking about what, well, I don't know if they're going to tell you what happened. I don't feel like they're going to talk to you about this big fight, but they're going to come towards you and they're going to be like, look, it is over. I was stupid AF. I should never have done that. Five of swords is I have so much regret, but I put an end to it with death, right? It's over. It is over. What I truly desire is a higher level of commitment with you. I made a big mistake. Okay, I made a really big mistake. I've made my decision. I'm never going back again. I can't believe I did that. You know, what is it going to take here? If they're feeling confident enough in themselves that they feel like they can, um, they they can they feel like they could be at your level. Okay, now you're probably listening to this and being like, I don't know if I want someone like that. I don't know if I want this to happen. I don't know, right? I don't know how you're feeling at the moment, but I will tell you that. Remember, we were talking about how at one point this masculine thought that um they were above the karmic and that maybe uh they weren't good enough for you and so they had to be this person who held the power or were in charge or did the saving or whatever the case was um they do feel more confident now i feel like whatever they needed they got that boost um i don't know what they needed um whatever the, they got whatever they needed from this karmic and it does feel very transactional it does not feel very awesome what they did to be totally honest with you but they're saying they're coming back and they're saying they're feeling that they are now in a position where they could show up and be all of the things that you require in in a relationship. Okay. So this is, they are going to come towards you and say, look, I, I want, I want to offer you a higher level of commitment. I want to, you know, I want to solidify this connection, you know, because I should have, could have, would have, I should have done this a very long time ago. I should never have um, gotten involved with this karmic. I should not have done that. Um, I'm, you know, obviously they're going to try to offer you some kind of an apology here, but I feel like right away they're going to come through and they're going to try to get you to commit to them in some sense. Okay. And I guess this is probably why you ought to know, right? This is probably why you ought to know. Let's see what they're going to say to you. Let's pull a direct message. I feel like I could extend this because this was about the karmic situation. We could 
extend this and talk about like how they feel about you, what they're thinking about you, um, more of what they want to say. We'll talk about um, if they've changed, if you can trust them, like what is the potential between the two of you? If you were to allow them to even uh, speak, look, I'm scared of being vulnerable. I feel like that was one of the major things, right? I feel like your power made them feel vulnerable. I was a fool. Look at that. I was a fool. That stupid fear of being too vulnerable. I needed to be the one in charge. I needed to be the one in power. I was a fool. Okay. <laughs> I was a fool. Okay. Let me see what else we have. I knew I'd end up hurting you, so I stayed away. Yeah, okay. I feel like that's an excuse, to be honest with you. Um, I, I, I want this person to be honest, okay? I want this person to be honest. I don't feel worthy of love, and there it is, okay? This person didn't feel worthy of actual love, and that's why they chose somebody who, you know, they obviously chose someone who they felt they felt worthy of that person at the time. Okay, but I feel like they have, you know, gotten obviously over that. Okay, I feel like they want something better uh, for themselves. You know, I feel like they really do because at the bottom of the deck we have, I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. We belong together. Fake. Everyone around me is fake. Okay, so... I feel like this person's basically going to be like, yo, I was a total fool. I was a total imbecile. I'm hearing I should never have done that. You, oh, This is what you ought to know. Okay, so they are definitely coming towards you. Whether or not you are going to entertain them, that's going to be totally up to you. But if you are curious, you can join for the extended. That would be incredible if you were interested in offering energy exchange for the work that I do, um, you are more than welcome to do so. I will drop a preview so that you can see whether or not you're interested or not. Um, and for everyone else, I hope you did enjoy the tea that was spilled here. Um, all you need to do is kind of just wait to see this play out, I suppose, right? Uh, but for those of you who are nosy like me, we'll be over in the extended <laughs> trying to figure out uh, just a little bit more of the tea, okay? And everything to do with you. We're not going to involve the karmic in this at all. I don't even feel like this was mostly about the karmic because it was more about like this masculine's decision making or their 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 uh like their like it's like a moment where they just freaking snap, okay? Uh, the fight. I feel like it's a fight, right? And the breakup is what really was coming up and coming through this reading, okay? It is something that I feel like, again, going right back to the beginning, it's something that you did see coming. You knew that this wasn't going to last, okay? I feel like you knew this, okay? Anyways, I'm sending you lots of love. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for joining me for spilling the tea. Um, yeah, for those of you who I'll see in the extended, we will jump over there in a, a second. And then uh, for everyone else, I do hope to read for you again sometime down the line. If you are new to the channel, welcome in. We would love you, love to have, well, we will love you, but we would love to have you as being part of our tribe. It would be awesome if you would join us. And thank you all very much for your likes and your shares and your comments and everything that you do um, just to show your love and appreciation for myself, for our tribe, and for each other. Thanks and have a blessed day. Take care. Okay, my loves, welcome to the extended. Thank you so very much for your energy exchange. I really, truly appreciate it. Um, I am spending a little bit of time here cleansing the space, which I don't usually do in between the uh, reading and the extended, but today I am um, just because I honestly, I don't want to bring in the energy of the fighting. And now that I've taken a pause, taken a minute, it feels almost um, spilling the tea. You know, it feels almost like we shouldn't know that or we shouldn't have known what is really going on. But spirit, again, did feel like you want to know. So anyways, I want to just cleanse the vibe a little bit to see how this masculine is actually going to show up towards you because I feel like it's going to be a completely different energy obviously than what they are doing um with the, you know with you know who okay I don't even want to say it okay so let's just get into it here I'm going to start with an energy and see what energy they're going to be in towards you okay what energy is this masculine going to show up in when it when they come towards you okay what energy are they going to be in 
please spirit show me what energy this masculine will be in when it comes to um, our beautiful tribe here we have look at that woman holding a heart um, number 44 this is the energy of love right they are going to be in the energy of love here's my heart I want to give you my heart I want to give you all of my love uh, all of my love all of my love I feel like I'm I'm picking up a song and I feel like it's Led Zeppelin. All of my love. The, the song that I'm hearing. Here we have number 22, Yin Yang. Wow. Um, they're coming through it in this very loving energy towards you. And I'm so glad that I uh, did a little bit of a smudge cleanse here because honestly, folks, that felt a little bit dirty with, <laughs> with the karmic rating. Anyways, um, I am seeing here that they're coming towards you in a completely different vibe. Okay, I feel like they almost don't even want you to know uh, what has been going on behind the scenes because the way they're showing up towards you is like, you have my heart. You are my everything. You are my soulmate. You are my twin. You are my, you know, you are my person. I should, I just, I should have, could have, would have. I wish I would have done things differently. Um, I'm here right now in front of you giving you my heart. Can we do this thing? Can we have union? Can we get together? Um, can we come into balance? Can we, can we start over? You know, they're in this energy of just wanting to pour all of the love into you. Is there anything else here, please, Spirit, as far as what energy they're going to be in? When they come, yeah. Well, we have the thinking man. So they've been thinking about this for a very long time. This isn't something that just suddenly happened. Um, like I said, in the first part of the reading, it was like something that's basically come to a head, you know. Um, and look at this. At the bottom of the deck, we have broken hearted energy. So obviously they are and they have been thinking about you, thinking about what they've done, thinking about how they feel, thinking about, you know, the damage that they've done, you know, obviously here, um, they know, they know, okay, they absolutely know, so they're not coming in, like, I was going to say blissfully unaware, they're not coming in very ignorant, they're coming in with this, like, look, I know what I did, I know how, I, I know I made a mistake, I've been thinking about you, I've been thinking about this for a very long time, I want to give you everything, I want to give you my all, you are my person, you are my soulmate, you are my twin, that kind of an energy, okay? Um, now, because this is coming up with the yin yang, I am going to get the specific deck here about their energy. Um, and it's the it's a, like a twin flame um, energy oracle deck here. I'm going to see what other vibe they're going to be in as they come towards you. Oh my goodness, we have tested <laughs> you look at this it says your strengths and weaknesses are being tested and I feel like um, they're coming in they're saying look I, I failed the test you know I completely failed the test I should not you know again there's a lot of regret that's coming through we have these energies that have flipped over so we have bond look at yin yang again bond a love bond grows stronger over time Oh, goodness. They have not been able to forget you. They haven't been able to stop watching you. We have the yin-yang. So, again, like the yin-yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. All right. Um, just coming in saying that I know that the two of us are meant to be get together. We have let go. Sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine timing. I feel like that's something that you probably have done or it was really difficult for you to let go. Um, because of the circumstances around this situation. Uh, but we also have cherish. So cherish your relationship. Even though uh, you let go, even though they made this choice, even though they feel like they failed the test, at the end of the day, they feel like there may be an opportunity to salvage to salvage this connection here. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very, very interesting. Whether or not you're into it is, is you know, it's up to you, <laughs> right? It's up to you. But let's see what energy they are, um, or sorry, what they've been thinking about, what they've been feeling. This is the energy they're coming towards you in. And again, whether or not you um, accept it, it is up to you. Use your own discernment. We will explore further and see whether or not they can be trusted. Uh, we're going to see more of what they want to say. So if you're into it, stay tuned, my loves. Here we go. She said she don't kill me. Fight to the car to die. She said she don't love me. Fight to the car that wasn't in the deck. The car my finger touched. Think I got my wish. You know for sure when the 
Yes, I done. She said she was beautiful.